Hello Twilight, um... Um, yes. Hello Twilight Frontier, this is Daniel, um... I am pretty certain that you will be the one, um... that will do the perfect job for a certain video game. I don't want you to actually just, um... you know... be the, um, producer of it. I, I don't want you just to be the, um producer of a game that is, like, 90% um, written. I want you to, um, like, um, answer 100% of the um, fans' um, questions of a certain game, and that name game, and that game is Spire of the Dragon. I know this might sound weird, but, you know, you know basically there is a certain character in Spire of the Dragon, named Malfour, and, um, for, for instance, I would like you to, um, rename him from the beginning. I want you to name him Spyro. And I want you to make sure that he was born as a human being, as a, in that game, um, with all kinds of power. From the beginning, when he was just born, there was this, um, very, um, war-torn area, lots of war, and then something bizarre happens when he was born. And I think it was a war-torn area because of um, the dragons kept attacking and now people want to kill the dragons. Now, I want you to have him find a certain crystal that there's all this crazy stuff to people. And I want you to have him find the crystal, and um, then as the journey goes on, I want you to um, have him find the dragons by the crystal, but it turns out the crystal wanted nothing to do with that. It wanted him to become a dragon, so hence his name is Spyro, or Malifor. So Twilight Frontier. I know that sounds strange, but you know, I want you to actually have the original story down, just beat by beat, and stitch by stitch. Literally, 100%. And I want you to make sure that he is, um, a proud dragon, or a proud person, and he is a proud and happy person, and is a show-off. And then have him be a proud dragon because he wants power. And then have it in two parts. The young part, and the pretty much the old part, like the the older part, like he's big and he is majestic, and you know he can be pretty scary the way he behaves because he's so proud and arrogant because of his power. And I want you to kill off a certain character twice in a row. First in the first game, and the second in the second game. And I want him to, um, wondrously, um, wanderlessly look for answers, but, um, instead, he wants them somewhere else, as we can say, as he is very lost, and, um, his answers are looking, like, he's looking for how is he going to do... How is he going to rule the world with an iron fist if he is going to, you know, not have anyone to take over his um, life? It, how is he going to, how is he going to go back to his human world since it's destroyed? Or how about, how is all this power going to deal with a human world and make, t make um, ends meet? Just find a way to actually make a story out of it. And yes, um... In the middle of the first game, have the one of the characters be just destroyed by him, like, utterly destroyed by him. Like, have him show no mercy to that character. Be, like, bloodily, bloodily destroyed and, um... wrecked beyond repair. And then, um... That's his one... 
problem that he that when he killed her off, that's when he was looking for answers. That's all he was looking for answers for. And since no one wanted to, to you know, since he could never get her, why shall anyone be with him if they think that when he did that to her, you know, that's when he wants to destroy the world later on, as you can tell. I know it sounds confusing, but you know, I want you to do um, three main things. Be the king company of um, Malifor, or Sparrow, um, whatever you want to call it, and then um, make two games. And um, make sure that they're um, meant for a more mature audience. And I want you to find a company that will do the best graphics, like best possible graphics for it, um, and best sound, and make sure that you're the one that makes the best story out of it. And try not to make it as confusing as I make it. I know, it's just problems, you know. But good quality, 100% spiral work. And, um, also, Twilight. <laughs> I know you can do this, even if you do it through me. Answer all the fans' questions. How did Malfour become this good person, this good dragon, to being a world destroying, wanting to kill everyone dragon? And and then answer them. It was through Cinder. It was through her that he um, killed her twice, ruthlessly. Because, um, he was too powerful. He was too arrogant. And when a certain uh, plot happens, when a certain plot happens with, um, like a, um, debate, and then it becomes an argument, he kills her twice. And he says he can't carry on with this world. Because he can only do that with everyone. So he decides to kill everyone because of how he treats her and that he was his closest friend to her. And not only that, he kills another character in the very end of the story. And that was a guy that kills nobody. And that was his very best friend. And he, and he um, ruthlessly kills him. And he's basically a not, the, not even bones. He's basically completely gone. And, um, then he wants to destroy the whole world because of that. Because he's filled with emptiness and he's basically, um, without a soul. He has no answers. Because he's been torn from town to town and then back to the original town, had a torn up family, his father is gone, he died, and um, he's just going on a budget with a motorcycle, I saw and he finds this pretty cool treasure, and now he goes from place to place, destroying his own home country, and his own home um, land, and he doesn't do, know what to do with himself because he's too powerful. Powerful power on um, causes much problems, as you can say. The more power you have, the more responsibility you can get with it. Or it's, or as you can say, the more power, the more power um, you have, the more responsibility you must have in order to do deal with the power. Okay, I'll be done now. Okay. All right. Um. Just um, try to make a story out of that, um, make a complete story out of that, make it 100% in Twilight Frontier, make it as perfect as you can possibly make it, and make it best company, and get the best company for it, for graphics, and for sound, and for controls, and, you know, make his character Powerful, but not um, out of battery powerful. 
In the first game, Jess became really powerful, but in the second game, making him survive uh, off of um, war and bosses. That's pretty much all you can say. Anyway, I'll be done now, okay? Bye.